Sylvia Felmurray. And I'm Anushka Kiwala. Welcome to I Love Chile's news broadcast. The latest headlines include education budget finally approved, voluntary voting system and automatic registration law approved, Chilean Cyber Monday causes online chaos. Pattern Energy Group, LP, signs for renewable power sale in Chile's largest wind project. Codelco pollution in Puchucaví. And Jordan van der Sloot sues Chilean authorities. In culture and entertainment, government aids campaign. 2011 Teleton on December 2nd and 3rd. Viña del Mar's 23rd Film Festival. And Amy Winehouse's dress sold to Santiago Museum. And last but not least, in sports, the semi-final of the Copa Sudamericana, Alexis Sanchez finally upping his game for Barcelona, and Fernando Gonzalez's return to tennis in 2012. On Friday, November 25th, the Senate approved the education budget after a debate lasting 29 hours, ending with a vote in which the centre-left opposition decided to abstain. The government and opposition were close to reaching an agreement on a revised budget plan, but the vote on President Sebastián Piñera's proposal continued, although there has been an increase of $350 million from last year. Representatives from the Partido Regionalista de los Independientes and other independent participants refused to give their votes to the proposal, with PRI representative Alejandra Sepúlveda calling it absolutely insufficient. Members of the Comisión Unida de Constitución y Gobierno Interior have voted unanimously to approve the law on automatic registration and voluntary voting. The Minister Secretary General of the Presidency, Cristian La Roulette, was pleased with the support they got for the initiative and said it would be an important step to ensure that the forthcoming municipal elections of 2012 have a higher voting turnout. The Secretary of State added that Congress would set a deadline to pass the bill through the end of December in order to have an automatic enrollment list and voluntary voting in 2012. Last Monday, Chilean businesses followed the lead of the United States and took part in their first Cyber Monday, a massive campaign offering cheap online prices to encourage consumers to buy online. Starting 0 hundred hours of Monday morning, the Santiago Chamber of Commerce and companies within its Committee on Electronic Commerce, including Palavela and Sony, began a variety of offers on their products. However, the volume of online buyers was such that at midnight, the majority of online stores collapsed, as the service could not deal with such high demand. LAN, the Chilean airline company, was one of the few companies whose websites managed to withstand the high volume of online consumers looking for bargains. Pattern has signed a 20-year agreement for its El Arrayán wind project in Chile with Minera Los Pelambres, a mining company controlled by Antofagasta PLC. The El Arrayán project is located approximately 400 kilometers north of Santiago Welcome on the coast of Chile. Once completed, it will be Chile's largest wind energy product, providing up to 45,000 local homes with clean and renewable power each year. The wind power project is expected to begin construction in early 2012 and will hopefully be ready for commercial operation during the second half of 2013. The mining division of Antofagasta PLC, Antofagasta Minerals SA, will also have an option for a 30% stake in the project. The Environmental Committee of the Chamber of Deputies wants to take legal action over the pollution in the Punchuncaví and Quintero areas which has caused poisoning in the majority of the community. Codelco and the municipalities involved are responsible for the contamination, according to the eight-month report by the Commission of Environment Inquiry from the Lower House. Deputy Enrique Acorsi has said that the Commission will take legal action against those responsible for the toxic emissions, whilst also taking protective measures for the children of the community. The inspection of the Todelco Ventanas plant that was carried out by Health Minister Jaime Manjalich, who found that there had been an order to close the facility, which was then not issued, after negotiations on several mitigation measures with the company. Jordan van der Sloot has announced he will sue the Chilean government for extraditing him to Peru. 
He's asking for 10 million US dollars, claiming that his rights were violated as he was not given permission to call his family and denied the right to counsel. Jordan van der Sloot is accused of the murder of two women, Natalie Holloway in 2005 and Stephanie Tatiana Flores Ramirez exactly five years later. He was arrested after the disappearance of Holloway in 2005, but released as there was insufficient evidence. However, following the discovery of Flores Ramirez's body in van der Sloot's hotel room in Lima on May 30th, an international Interpol search for him was launched, leading to his arrest in Chile just four days later. He was handed over to the Peruvian authorities on the 4th of June. The trial will begin on the 6th of January, 2012, in Peruvian court. In culture and entertainment news, this is what's been happening. The Chilean government has launched an AIDS campaign earlier this month entitled Hazte el examen, or Take the Test. In Chile, approximately 40,000 people live with HIV, and 20,000 are unaware they have the infection. This campaign encourages people to get tested for HIV so they can start treatment as soon as possible, should they have the infection. It also promotes contraception, abstinence, and avoiding the use of shared needles as preventative measures against becoming infected. The Ministry of Health has set up helplines for those who want more information about HIV and have put commercials for the campaign online. On Thursday, December 1st, people also took part in World AIDS Day, promoting global awareness of the disease. On the weekend, Chile's Teleton returned for the 24th time in its 33-year history. Last year, the event raised nearly 19 billion Chilean pesos, and organizers are keen to beat the big sum at this year's event, collecting the money towards rehabilitating children and young people with disabilities. The free tickets released for the events throughout the week were snapped up quickly, with the most dedicated camping outside venues overnight to ensure they would get their tickets. Events this year include a charity football match between celebrities and politicians and a concert at the Estadio Nacional. On November 29th, Viña del Mar launched its 23rd film festival, the Festival Internacional de Cine, which will run till December 3rd. The event will see 260 productions, including documentaries, films, and shorts, shown in nine venues across Viña del Mar and Valparaiso. There is a special focus on work by the late Chilean director Raúl Ruiz and Argentine director Eliseo Subiela, who also won an award for his work. Other artists from across the continent are competing in six categories for the prestigious Premio Paoa. Santiago's fashion museum, the Fundación Museo de la Moda, spent over $67,000 on one of Amy Winehouse's dresses at the Kerry Taylor auction in London earlier this week. The white and red polka dot pattern designer dress was worn on the album cover of Back to Black, which was the late singer's second and most recent album. Proceeds from the sale are being donated to the Amy Winehouse Foundation, a charity set up in the singer's memory to support charities that look after vulnerable young people. Last Wednesday saw Universidad de Chile reach a place in the final of the Copa Sudamericana, beating Vasco de Gama by two goals to zero, leaving them with a global score of three to one. After the 1-1 draw the week before, La U only needed a goalless draw to reach the final. This is the first time the team has reached the final of the tournament. After a slow start to the season where he was plagued by injury and scored few goals, Alexis Sanchez has finally shown Barcelona fans what he's capable of, contributing two goals to Barcelona's 4-0 victory against Rayo Vallecano at the Camp Nou Stadium. Sanchez scored the first goal of the match 29 minutes in, adding another one just 10 minutes later, with Villa and Messi then scoring in the 42nd and 49th minutes. Fans will be hoping that now that he has recovered from his injuries, Sanchez will maintain this high standard on the pitch. Chilean tennis star Fernando González has said he will kick off his 2012 season at the Heineken Open in Auckland, taking place from the 9th... González last won the tournament in 2005, and to do so this year will have to fend off some stiff competition. Notably, world number five, Spaniard David Ferrer, the defending champion who beat Nadal in the Australian Open quarter-final. 
Gonzalez, currently ranked at 300, also hopes to take part in the London Olympics in July. That's all for this week on I Love Chile's TV news. Tune in next week for more updates and news about Chile in English. How about some daily updates? Log into ilovechile.cl for your daily I Love Chile news. See you next time. Thank you.